Over the last decade, medicine has seen great advances in the diagnosis and treatment of cancer. Many people with the disease are living longer and many are cured. That's thanks to cancer research and people who are willing to make sacrifices. Sacrifices such as donating bone marrow. So that's, that's my favorite product. Handmade soaps. Amy Brooks first made them to battle the effects of chemotherapy and radiation. Your skin really takes a beating. The treatment was harsh, but it did seem to deliver the knockout blow to her leukemia. Then about a year later, doctors told Amy the cancer came back. Oh my goodness, you know, I'm like, can I die? And they're like, absolutely. You know, I was somewhere in that, you know, 15% chance of a survival range. Amy needed a bone marrow transplant. The term bone marrow transplant always brings up the image of someone going into an operating room and having the bone marrow put in. But it's, it is not that. It's actually much more like a blood transfusion. Dr. Dennis Gastonow says bone marrow is the spongy tissue inside some bones. Its job is to produce blood cells. To prepare for the transplants, patients have chemotherapy to kill the leukemia and malfunctioning marrow. Then, transplanted blood stem cells are put into the bloodstream. Ideally, the transplanted cells begin producing new, healthy cells. The cells used for transplantation come from one of three sources. Healthy people can donate marrow from their hip bone, which requires a surgical procedure, or they can donate blood stem cells. Last, if patients can't find a matching donor, they can be transplanted with stem cells from their own blood. It works if they're healthy enough to go through the collection process before their marrow is wiped out from chemotherapy. This is what Amy did. In a process called apheresis, a machine removes only stem cells from the blood. What remains goes back into the donor's arm. Amy's transplanted stem cells work. And now, 11 years after her bone marrow transplant, Amy doesn't have to focus on her leukemia. She can focus on her customers. We've got a lot of new products this year. Every year, many people can't have bone marrow transplants because they can't find a match or they can't use their own stem cells. There is a need for donations. If you'd like to learn more about bone marrow donation, go to mayoclinic.org. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.